Hi everyone, welcome to the House Mouse Collaboration 2021 where we use um, house mouse stamps which are done by Stampendous, uh, at least now they are. I don't know years ago if that was the same. Anyway, I have quite a collection of house mouse stamps and I actually just ordered some more. Eee! Actually, I just received them but I didn't open them yet. <laughs> anyway, this month we have a theme every month and this month the theme is spring has sprung well not quite here where i'm at but it's getting there my tulips and daffodils are springing up from the ground and i used to have crocuses which used to be the first thing up but not anymore but i do have a crocus with a little house mouse so this is the stamp it is called crocus droplet so you get a little drink off the crocus and when i had crocuses coming up they were yellow and purple i had yellow ones and purple ones and i think a white a white one or something like that yeah they don't come up anymore i guess the squirrels must have eaten the bulbs or something anyway so this is the little guy and i i um put it on Stampin' Up's Purple Posy cardstock, which is really washed out there. Let's see there. That might look a little better. It's a little pinker than that in reality. Anyway, then I put uh, Highland Heather, which is a little bit deeper purple. And then this pattern paper with the polka dots is from the annual catalog. And it is a paper called Playing with Patterns. This is the pattern. That's what's on the reverse. It's a really nice pack of 6x6 six six paper. Good for all different events and things. Um, this ribbon, which I just wrapped around here, is Stampin' Up! It's in the annual catalog also. And it doesn't, it's not with a collection or anything. It's just called the Tricolor Ribbon. So it's three shades of purple, like um, Purple Posy, Highland Heather, and Gorgeous Grape. And I didn't really want a bow. And then this, uh, Life Showers Bring Love Flowers, is from Stampin' Ups under my umbrella photopolymer stamp set right here. And this is in the annual catalog also. It carried over from last year. And what I did is I stamped it on, let's see if I can find the right ones, uh, these Tasteful Labels dies just use this one because I needed something vertical but I cut this out in um, with the whisper white or the white in uh, stamped in Highland Heather and then I cut this out again in Highland Heather which is a little bit darker like I said and cut it in half and just made it show up on the top and the bottom and then on the inside I had an extra piece of paper um, I stamped a few of the little droplets um, from here. They're down here. I kind of stamped them off and I used um, Misty Moonlight for that because they're the same color as here. And then I didn't have any small crocuses in stamps so I just used the flower. I think it was this little one here down in the corner and with Granny Apple Green and um, actually I think Purple Posy Dark on that. And that is the first card. And then I have another one for you. Um, and this one, I use the house mouse stamp called Spring Swing. <laughs> so I don't know if it's swung, but it's or sprung, but it's swinging. <laughs> I can't talk. Uh, so the first one was called, let me put these like this. This one was called Crocus Droplets. Because crocuses, usually here, like I said, crocuses are the first flowers to spring, spring up. Um, and this is the next one. So this one is on a Magenta Madness card base. These are all A2. The paper here is from the Designer Series paper, 2020 to 2022. And you just get um, four different patterns in the five different in color colors. Magenta Madness is one of them. And so the paper I used in the background, the whole background, is this wood grain. 
and it has words actually on the other side but I put it going sideways like that and then I took a mat of um, just jade this is uh, I want to say three and a half by four and a, a quarter or four and three quarter maybe yeah and then this is five by this is four and three quarter by three and a half and this is uh, the just jade then is five by three and three quarter yep as a mat um, I, cut, I did the coloring with dark mango melody dark and light magenta madness and dark and light just jade dark and light gray granite um, I think I missed a little piece of rope there anyway I'll get that later uh, this is dark crumb cake the little thingy sitting on which I now that I think of it was probably a washer and I should have used gray but I used soft suede for that and then dark and light petal pink for his ears and mouth and stuff yeah I mean ears and feet and hands and that that's it that's it was pretty easy coloring and then inside I stamped you make me brighter you make the day brighter and that is from pretty parasol oops pretty parasol which is from the annual catalog also uh, which ends in april uh, and that coordinates with the umbrella builder punch and this under my umbrella that i used on the first card so um yeah those are my two cards i hope that you like them um, I just kept it pretty simple and just did just A2 size cards because that's what I use the most. Oh, and this is uh, Just Jade in color ribbon. I just felt like I needed a little something. And I might, I might, I have some Purple Posy um, embellishments and I have some Just Jade and or Magenta Madness. I'll probably use Just Jade on this. Um, enamel dots on this one I forgot to do that again <laughs> I don't know not into the embellishing part lately I guess all right that's all I have please go check out the other members of the collaboration to be linked down below and join us every month on the first at 10 a.m. Eastern and see what we what our theme is that month and um, see what we make all right hugs love and peace have a wonderful week and month happy March